YouTube, it's Andrew from Money Mental UK here, the YouTube channel dedicated to money and mental health. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andrew and I make videos about uh, earning money on eBay and occasionally about mental health as well. Um, so today is a live appeal. I have purchased some ladies clothing. I have attempted to research what I bought, but I've not got a clue. So uh, I'm hoping some lady clothing sellers or ladies who know about clothes will join the chat and will help me identify what on earth I've got here. Um, so we will show off the haul. I'll attempt to do some research as well, but I suspect I'm going to need the guiding and helping hands of some of our that's some of the Money Mental UK lady viewers. Okay, so Ian, you're not a lady, so or a lady's clothes seller, so straight away you're going to prove useless to me. But welcome, Ian. Yes, Rebecca, excellent. Thank you. There we go. Right, let's fetch out the clothes then. The first item I've picked up. What have I got? I don't even know what it is. I've got a Wallace thing. Is Wallace? A decent brand. I basically, my principle was I'll pick up stuff that they haven't got a shop for in Wrexham. So I've got, I don't know what, is this like a t-shirt? Is this a t-shirt? I don't know. I put Wallace t-shirt into eBay, but I wasn't doing very well. Um, I'll try it again now. A Wallace XL t-shirt. It, it's a lot easier doing men's clothing, I've decided. It's a lot less stressful. I spent like 20 minutes trying to find this stuff. First item I see here is uh, Lindsay Rose's listing as well. I can recognise that because I see the wall of her conservatory. Um, Wallace goes for decent price, does it? All right, this is XL as well, so it's a, obviously a, a larger size. Is it a T-shirt? Is that what I call it? Hi, Richard. Blouse. Does a blouse not have no buttons? I have no clue. What is this? A blouse? We could try blouse. Hi, Lainey. Do you know about ladies' clothes? Because I've not got a clue. What is this? It's by Wallace. I thought it's a t-shirt, but I don't know. It's a lovely top. Excellent. It's, I've got taste. Um, I don't know what it is. I know it's a top. It's got these things on it as well. I don't know what they're for. But, yeah. Like straps. That's another one there as well. I'm a big time clothing seller, Richard. You're not. Look, I've even branched out to lady clothing. Wallace ladies top. All right, let's let's try on eBay then. See what we can fetch up. Keep it on the hanger. Yes, I'll I'll I'll, I'll not put that on a mannequin. Like straps, rather. Right? Well, I I don't know. Do I? You don't get straps on men's tops do you and not unless it's some kind of bdsm thing wallace xl ladies top here we go let's see what comes up on the the ebay um is it tied up i've no clue hi steve oh how are you i i don't know what tie dye is is that tie dye effect i don't know I've no idea. That's what the straps are. Something to do with tight. Oh, not a clue. What? Why did I? Why didn't I just stick to men's clothing? Let, let's have a look on the soles here now. But a lot of people do use blouse top then, so I could say blouse top is a keyword. Is it leaf print? Yes. That would make sense. They are leaves, yeah. Uh, yes. It's like um, like sort of palm tree leaf thingies. 
could always use it to wax my car. I'm going to sell this because I am a big time clothing seller. I'm just a big time men's clothing seller, as we're rapidly discussing. Whoa, there's loads of stuff sold on here. If I put uh, leaf print in, then let's see if that fetches anything up. That fetches up one thing on bids, which has gone for more than a pound. So I'm going to make some money here. Uh, to do does it have yeah it's got straps i mean i don't know what the, i don't know what they're for did it what what do those straps do what i don't have any straps on this t-shirt wallace ladies floral leaf print top in blue and white probably yeah what what, what do you do with those straps As Chris joined us as well. I mean, we've got Nigel. I need subscribers who know about ladies' clothes. This, this is, you know, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fetch the buy it now. On we're gonna have a look and do some research. Ah, uh, share the screen. Those straps are to hold it up on the coat hanger. All right. Oh, I, I get you. I don't really get you, but um okay so i put this on the clothes hanger and then i can just list it like that i guess it looks slightly off the shoulder don't know what that means either um right so that's a bit like the one i've got but that's brand new and gone on bids uh how do i used buy it now we need right i'm not impressed with the price of the top one there six quid mine's worth more than that surely 650 plus postage that's more like it oh, that one's gone for 15 quid that's not hugely dissimilar oh mind you that's got sleeve long sleeves on it in it uh six quid you can go away six quid six seven quid i want it to be worth a tenner at least but how do you know what so that's gone for nearly a tenner that one's gone for 25 quid why is that gone for 25 quid you, you wrap the straps around the metal hook of the hanger That just confuses the hell out of me. Uh, what? Why is that one gone for twenty five quid? Let's have a look at it. Uh, a tunic top. That must be something different. Good God! See, that's more like uh, silky. Freaking prices are all over the place here. That's a bit like it. It's gone for eleven quid. Let's have a look here. Oh, I mean, that's gone for 11 quid. And that's, you know, that's just one picture on there. And not a, no measurements or anything. So there's got to be money in that. Right, I'm going to list that one for 11.99, stuff it. Right, so I've got that. Hi, right, right, here we, we've got someone useful. Right, what is this that I've got here, Louise? Right, so far we've established it's got some straps in. Hi, Rebecca. So this, ladies, Wallace, XL, floral, leaf print, blouse top i reckon that's got to be worth something in it 11.99 i'm gonna put that this m m's joined us he sells machine guns not freaking clothes and clearly putting the title this is for ladies clothing sellers chris is off is he au revoir chris 
I'm going to the pub. I should be in the pub already. But I wasted half an hour trying to work this out. My polar arm. Yeah, so I'm going to go that that's like... Oh. Is that better? It's like a top thing. It's got like... That's where the head comes out. And then there's the... There's got like sleeves. It's not a t-shirt apparently. I'm going to whack it on for 11 99 stuff it. Wallace... I well, we say Wallace Ladies, XL, Floral, Leaf, um, Print, um, Blouse, Top. I, I, I don't know what possessed me to buy ladies' clothes. I was having a mental moment. Yeah, again, World War One and World War Two clothing, not useful in m and &M, not useful. Right, so I've got that. That's going to annoy me. Oh, I've chipped it on the floor now. Right, I've got this next. I assumed it was a cardigan when I bought it. Because it has got, like, these things on it, what come open. Yeah, so that's got to be a cardigan, isn't it? Uh, it's like a button. What do they call them? Pop, pop, pop buttons or something? Pop off buttons. It's by Monsoon, which I believe is a reasonable brand for a quid. It's from this camera. It's by Monsoon, which I believe is a. They, a Paul joined this now. Paul, you're not a ladies' clothing seller. We got Josh as well. He's not a ladies' clothing seller. Did press studs? Press. Thank you, Laney. Press studs. So if I put monsoon, um, press studs cardigan into go into eBay. Let's see what fetches up for it. Right, nothing because I can't spell monsoon. Hang on. Ladies clothing as well. It's, it's horrible, Billy B. I, I'm not happy with it at all. But they didn't have any men's clothes. Right, there's no results for monsoon press studs cardigan. What if I go studs cardigan? Poppers. Okay, we could try that. Monsoon Poppers Cardigan. If anything come up for that. Two results. None of them looking like what I've got. What's in the solds? Is it a cardigan? I mean, I've assumed it's a cardigan. Uh, nothing in the suits. Solds. Let's just put Monsoon Cardigan. It's all going to come up with stuff that doesn't like, look like this. Press studs, yeah, that's what um, uh, Laney said. Nothing comes up on Google for press studs, so that that is a cardigan, then yeah. It's uh, it's I think it's grey. I think it's grey. I think it's probably just a. It does look blue because the light coming in from the window um, is making it look that colour. If I go that side, I think you can see it's grey. Hopefully, twenty quid, you reckon? It's only a size 12. I'd be happy if it's 20 quid. I'd be the greatest clothing reseller ever if it's 20 quid. Hi, Rob. See, Rob sells clothes. But I don't know if he sells ladies' clothes. So we're going to go, Rob, Monsoon, blue, uh, grey stripe, cardigan. Let's see what fetches up for that. Eight results on the solds for that. That kind of looks a bit like it. It's gone on bids, but it's not striped. Well, it says it is, but it isn't. Cardigan, whatever colour. There's no no tags on it. There's no. It's not. It's not. That's not a. That's the charity shop tag. It costs a quid. There ain't no brand new with tag stuff in there. Um. Right. 
now if I look here same size as I've got hang on let me put the screen share on uh, how do I right okay so if I look here now this one seems to be similar I know it's gone on bids um, see that's got proper buttons on it but I think that's the closest comparable thing I can find Uh, hang on right there we are right so you reckon i should just call it like a monsoon press stud gray striped cardigan size 12 and go from there oh it's got some stains on it I've not spotted those. Right, that's going to have to go in the washing machine anyway. The black and grey suggestion one. Yeah, but that was new. Oh, there's more down the page. Stuff it. What do you reckon for a price on that then? Three quarter length sleeves. Are they not proper length sleeves? Bloody, so they've not even got a full sleeve on that. Is it cotton? Uh, yes, 100% cotton. Apparently, I've also got to keep it away from fire. So hang on. I do buy it now for everything, Jasmine. Summary, bloody hell. I can't keep up with this, hang on. Get the screen set up. Right, I'm going to type this in. Monsoon, size 12, press stud, grey and white striped cardigan, um, three quarter sleeve, is a quid. What I want to reckon that's worth fifteen to twenty. I go high cares. I'm okay, thanks. Proper clothing. I go fourteen ninety nine free shipping on that. Then I've got to wash it and get those stains out of it. Right, we're getting somewhere. That's two items down. I've only got four. You'll be glad to hear. And then I'm going to the pub. Next, I have got. I think I know that this is a red skirt. 100% cotton. Gorgeous, gorgeous, just like you, Rebecca. Um, right, let me put that. 100% cotton. Gorgeous. Right, there we go. Um, let's fetch me back on. Hi, Nick. Yes. See, I've got uh, apparently I've got a monsoon cardigan which has got three quarters length sleeves, is a hundred percent pure and is worth the cotton. And it's I don't work for the DWP and it's worth 15 to 20 quid. I used to work for the DWP, but that was years ago. It's worth uh, 15 to 20 quid, apparently. Only cost a quid, so I am the greatest clothing reseller ever. And a Wallace top that's worth 12.99, that only cost a quid, right. What have we got next? I've got this. I think it's a skirt. Like a skirt thing. I don't it's quite a long skirt. Hang on. Let's see if I can look that's what I thought. It looks like a baby grow, but it's a size twelve is like that apparently. Here we go, right. I've got a skirt. Um this is also by uh monsoon i'm assuming monsoon doesn't get faked because i've no idea what to look for and there's a uk 12 as well probably donated by the same person who donated this cardigan so that's all i know it's a red skirt uh it's quite a long skirt 
for a size 12 so is that floor length skirt is that what you call them it's a skirt i don't know what it's made that it's got some of these straps on it as well uh where does it tell me what it's made out of what there's another skirt inside it is that just like a lining oh how do you find out what it's made out of where's the the, the other skirt has fell out the bottom is that supposed to happen oh god this is awful maxi skirt is that what it is is it a maxi skirt that's somewhere it's got a zip on it as well i assume that's for if you've had a few burgers too many you can just unzip the sides and it still fits um yes there we go a monsoon skirt thing that's been owned by a cat owner by the looks of it so that's gonna have to go in the washing machine as well those straps are just to put on the hanger yeah that's what somebody said before uh i don't know what's made out of fully lined uh, I don't, yeah nothing has stressed me out as much as doing the research for this so i have yeah it, it, i've told nick i've got get i've ordered a streamer steamer even right so so we're gonna have a look on the uh on the ebay now yeah nigel um i've not been able to list anything um i think everyone i've spoken to has had uh, issues uh with um ebay the other skirt fell out the bottom it did cardigan baby crow beautiful burgundy skirt long like 25 quid have i done all right then have i considering i know absolutely nothing uh let me just can i cut and paste from here i'm gonna have to type it out by hand um beautiful red burgundy skirt long a line don't know what that means monsoon 12 autumn 124.99 is it three quarter length is it bloody hell it looks like it's big enough to so like for a human to wear uh three quarter length oh what was the other thing that lined good god this is stressful let's have a look on ebay uh monsoon red skirt 12 i'll put a line in and see if that comes up with anything here we go oh that's the skirt i've got red and black vintage style that's the one i've got uh So that's a promising price that it's gone for there but that's on bids in it i ignore bids there's my skirt anyway um let's have a look on the highest prices yeah, yeah 15 quid there maxi skirt there 15 quid 15 yeah well hey my uh to do what's got on the chat blur bias cut flared Daughter used to model for Monsoon. Oh, very nice. Uh, the skirt isn't three quarters length. The cardigan is right. Okay. Hi, Joan. Uh, 
so that's a full length skirt then is it right okay we'll, we'll, we'll get that listed at some point at least that one doesn't need well actually that one needs washing as well everything i bought apart from the wallace top needs rough washing um hey joan yes newbie stroke complete idiot right and the final item again so my approach i don't know if i said this my approach basically to sourcing for ladies clothing is if they've got a shop in chester and it's not marks and spencers or next that's the brand they'll go for so they've got monsoon in wallace in chester laura ashley and they've got a store called roman original so i bought this roman original cardigan as well based on the fact they've got a store in chester soon it's just turned autumn you see there you go that's how, that's how good i am i am the greatest clothing reseller ever so i've got this monsoon cardigan thing not monsoon sorry roman original now as i say they've got a roman original store in chester so i assume that it's worth a million quid um hang on let me just do the buttons up on it it's a beauty to be a challenge for uh my uh, lack of dexterity right that'll do i've done two yeah so uh roman i don't know if that'll come come up on the camera is that coming oh fucking camera is that coming out roman originals If it, that's the older ladies don't know they've got one in it they've got it looks like an older lady sort of card again we'll have a look roman originals it was m slash l in terms of size so i figured that's all right oh joan says he's done well with roman originals i i might have just discovered a bolo who knows so what roman originals cardigan beige so that's beige isn't it it's got these little black detail things going down the side of it as well don't know what they are let's have a look then this needs to go in the washing machine as well originals cardigan um l right all on bids so that's not promising let's just take the uh, size out four two three let's go used where's used and there's some money in it uh we've gone for 17 quid there but i'm assuming that's on the design maybe about 15 quid maybe maybe 13 14 quid i think i don't know what the keywords or anything will be for it it's a roman original size m stroke l beige cardigan that needs a good washing beige car can i say it's got like black detail is that something because it's all sort of black around the side and it's got these black marks there we go here we go rebecca's come up with some wording for us romans original cardigan beige cream neutral lovely black sewn yeah sewn i think that's that's fair sewn detailing soft yes it is soft one pound we'll put that on for 14.99 i think 
fine net. Quid. Everything I picked up was a quid. I don't know if it is fine net. Um, my usual method for telling if something is fine net is to check the um, label. Uh, it just says it's 55% acrylic, 45% cotton, iron on reverse. And it's from Roman Originals. But yeah, it's all right. And it? it's not bad, is it? So four items, four quid. So what we reckon? 11 99 for the Wallace. 14 99 for the Monsoon Cardigan. 24 99 for the um, Skirt. 14 99 for the uh, Cardigan. So what's that? 30 40 75 quid. Four quid for the lot. There's got to be money in that, hasn't there? I'm not doing ladies' clothing now, right? This has been more than this experience has been more than enough to convince me to stick to what I know, which is men's clothing. But they didn't have because I I cleared out the men's clothing yesterday. I thought I'd take a quick look on the ladies' stuff, and I just grabbed those. Seems to be all right though. My Chester sourcing principle seems to have paid off. I've not got anything there that's a fail, so. I'm happy enough with that. It all needs a good good wash. Good going over with the um, vanish stain remover. But it should be good. Yeah, I've cleaned it. But I think because I've just switched ball band providers. I did a speed test yesterday and the speed isn't where, where it should be yet. So I think that might be affecting things. Anyway, it's time for me to go to the pub, folks, and, and, and try and recover from this ordeal. Thank you everyone for your uh, for your help and assistance. Yeah, it is very gratefully received. Uh, I'll look out for maybe. Does it look foggy on there? Because it looks okay on Streamyard. Let me have a look on the YouTube. Um, I'll just fetch it up on the YouTube. To do, where am I? Live now. My my. Yeah, it does. Where am I? It does look a bit worse on the YouTube than it does on the um, Streamyard. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll give it another clean. Thanks everyone for watching. You've been watching Money Mental UK. You've been in my you've been in the bedroom with Money Mental UK. See you all soon, folks. Take care.